yeah. Welcome, please everyone. For first ever. Oh, Matt, could you please repeat that last transmission? You are starting to break up. Over. I said, Foxtrot 185, please hold your position right, until the rest of your team can. Twilight like Spartan. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Perfect timing. Like always. Uh. Um, yeah. Welcome, everyone. The first one ever. So, uh, I'm R.D. Spartan. I'm Spartan Luna. And the guy in the bathroom right now is Twilight Spartan. <laughs> Perfect timing, like always. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this is the first time uh, we're kind of running a pilot here to see uh, how well received it is. And, I mean, uh, crime, we already got 15 followers, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be, I don't know, a regular thing, I don't know. Hey, R.D., look yeah. the chat, it's the semi-perfect podcast. Oh, wow. Who are they? Okay, and I'm back. Oh, hey, and there's wow. Twilight Spartan. So, yeah, um, Luna, you're faint. But, uh, so this is gonna be, like, a more regular thing. We'll see, uh, how popular it is. Maybe we'll do, make this, like, a... Uh, a once a month thing or like every two weeks or something yeah. hey, <clears throat> but uh Nora just see how rd is loud as hell that's just his normal voice yeah i'm just a loud person so yeah deal with it yo now would you mind turn that down a little bit you're kind of shooting my ears out here okay is that better bang okay um so yeah so we're gonna come on here we're gonna talk about um Stop. shit and uh, we're gonna answer questions. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, we'll probably turn the music down too, apparently. Music? I don't hear any music. Yeah, no, it's only it's only in Spartan Luna's head, and Spartan Luna is transmitting, so. Well, you know how it is. Yeah. And this is why we're doing this, so uh, we can uh, iron out all the kinks. Yeah. Because yeah. God knows, Fireteam Harmony does everything perfect the first time around. Yeah, there's a reason we're called the One Take Wonders. Yeah, right? So, uh, yeah, you can submit your questions to hashtag AskFTH. Uh, on well, you can also post them on the YouTube chat here, too. Yeah, That's and true, uh, we'll answer your questions. Exactly. I think the first one actually came from uh, Nora. And uh, yeah. let, me just say, let me just talk about Nora, because like, Nora was like one of my first followers on Twitter. And I think there's at least like five of her, because she... She interacts with everybody on Twitter. Everyone. Literally everyone. Um, like, and I think, uh, I got really mad at her because, like, her first question was really stupid. It was like, if you were a mermaid, what color would your tail be? And I think I... I remember that question. Yeah, I think I asked her a question, like, um, uh, if you were a squirrel, what, what kind of tree would you hide your nuts in? Just to, like, shut her up. And it didn't. She still talks to me. So, like, I got, like, a love-hate relationship with Nora. You know, I, I love to hate her. But uh, her question... Uh, her question was, uh, if you could be a Disney princess, what princess would you be? It's just really stupid. I'm already a princess. Yeah, he's already Princess Twilight Spartan. The best princess around. You're, you're, you remember the question wrong. I've got it live. It's, uh, hey, you guys, glares at RD. Here's my Ugh. question. Who's your favorite Disney princess? Hashtag F. Oh, Hashtag F who's your favorite Disney, Disney princess? princess. Uh, mine's um, Darth Vader. Say mine's Princess um, Leia. Because I guess now she's technically a Disney princess. Well, she has been for quite some time. We're all Star Wars nerds. Uh, Kita. From but, uh, Zoom tight there, Luna. Yeah, who? Yeah, Kita. From, Who's that? From Atlantis. Oh, oh! That's a good one. Yeah, okay. No, I, I totally forgot about, about her. That. My favorite's the one nobody remembers. Yeah, no, that was such a great movie. Uh, voiced by Cree Summer. Who? And she was. Cree Summer, you know, the voice actor? No. You're the only one that knows, like, voice actresses by name. Like, I don't know voice actresses until, like, you're like... Hey, this is so and so. She's gonna sign your thing. She does the voice of this. I was like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> They're like, this is a sh uh, Ashley Ball. 
she does your voice. I'm like, no, she doesn't. I do my voice. Stupid. I never dragged you around to get signed. That's usually your, you kind of do it yourself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Evidently, people can't yeah. hear me. Yeah. No, you're kind of faint there, Luna. Um, yeah, do you have like a volume on. control? I mean, I could deep throat my mic. Does that help? Yeah. Uh, we actually it's tried an improvement. So, I'm so not going to lie there. Luna? We try to make it so people can't hear Luna because, I mean, you know, we try to exclude him from all our videos. It doesn't work. He gets in sometimes. But, uh, let, me, let me try adjusting some things. There you go. That sounds better. Well, but, uh, I got it right in my mouth. So, um, Animator Dash in the in the comments asks, uh, "Where did where did you get the suits from?" And like an easy one, we found them. Yeah, whenever and somebody asks you that, I always say, "I found it on the side of the road, and I had to clean the blood out of it." But no, we actually made all of our uh, our Spartan armor. None of us, none of us buy Spartan armor. We're not Black Griffin. I mean, we all we all build it. Ooh, shots oh, shots fired there. Shots fired. <laughs> um, oh my. Yeah. No, we all built our, our armor, and uh, we don't have an armor building video yet. But it's something we have in the works. We're definitely gonna, because enough people ask us, we're gonna have to make an armor building video. <laughs> Because uh, legitimate you know. armor building video. Yeah. Oh, we we. Gotta, I have a video called uh, "How to Clean Spartan Armor," but uh, that doesn't teach that. you. Good. Yeah, don't watch it. Don't watch it. Uh, we got a question from Ouija Slayer. It, would you guys take a sunset shimmer Spartan? We actually already have one in the works. Got one. You're too late. Uh, he's a uh, still in the building process, but yeah, uh, you can find Sunset Spartan on Twitter and Facebook. Doesn't he do the um, Fotis helmet for his? Yes. Yeah. Fotis. 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 The unicorn Don't say one. Fotis. That's a different thing. That's a that's a completely different. But yeah, he's got a Fotis helmet. And it's pretty sweet. Um, so, Roth, Rath, Rath, or Clark Leminger. Leminger. What's your favorite mecha from an any anime? I don't watch anime. I'm not a fucking weeb. <laughs> It's uh, technically not an anime, but I always like the Atlas from the Mech series. Mech Warrior, yeah. Oh. Right, that's the one. Got oh, God. does anybody remember the the game Chrome Hounds? It's not an anime I've either. Never heard of it. Chrome Hounds. I've never heard of that one. It's like um, it's it takes place in the future, and you like make your own sort of mech sort of thing, and like uh, you you uh, design the whole thing from the ground up, like the chassis. You can get like leg chassis or like. Uh, tank tread chassis, and then you build like the uh, uh, the cockpit, and you add guns and stuff, and you design it, and it's like this big uh, big game about like uh, fighting other nations. Like there's three uh, nations that are fighting for a server and all that. It, it's pretty sweet. So it's familiar. Maybe I have heard of it. And yeah, just kind I of forgot that. about it. That was the only like mech ish game that I really played and liked. So that was awesome. My my, my favorite mech would have to be Voltron. <laughs> Yeah, Voltron. Hey, who's seen the new uh, uh, Voltron on Netflix? I, I uh, binge watched season movie. two when it came out last Friday. Really? Yeah, yeah I've never seen, seen Voltron ever. I never saw the original because it came out before my time. But my stepbrother yeah. was a huge fan. Uh, but I really like the the new rendition of it. They did a really good job. So. Question. Oh, here's like the or origin question. Uh, what gave you? I see it ideas? from Mr. Someone. Yeah, Mr. Someone. What gave you uh, ideas to make MLP slash Halo Spartan suits? Uh, Twilight... Actually, a really what? simple answer is um, basically the name Twilight Spartan is what started all of this. Started with a pun. I started giggling at this pun incessantly because I had a late night before work. And so I'm kind of in a slap happy, giggly mood the next day. And it's like, I forget the exact, I was thinking to myself, if there was a My Little Pony Halo crossover, what would you call the char main character? Twilight Spartan just popped into my head. And I just kept giggling at it. It's like, okay, I got to make this a thing. And it just kind of snowballed from there. And you recruit oh. people. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then I joined because they chloroformed me and threw me in a bag. But hey, anyways, um, Lockhart to asked. To remember that. Lockhart asked, "How many Spartan outfits you guys make so far? Are you going to make more in the future?" Ah, uh, well, I've only made two. That's a broad question. 
Yeah, I've only made two, but I have plans for so many. Like every time I almost finish a new one, I'm like, oh, you know what I should do after this one? I think I have two or three more plans still. So I've lost count of how many versions I want to make, and you know, given life yeah. situations, I've got to stick with what I've got. Yeah. At this point, I've built dozens of um, Spartan armor. Yep. At yeah, this point, the whole you know, just here. different incarnations, because I'm already on Mark Three for Twilight Spartan. The the original uh, suits that are flashing up on that uh, that slideshow we have, um, Twilight built awesome all of them. I actually got that done in under a year. Yeah, he so, uh, that, he built like six of them, uh, and in less than a year for all of us. And then after that, we started building our own, or a few of us you know, stopped uh, doing the FTH thing, but uh, he's, he's an armor building machine. Yeah. Uh, how Get long did started. it take you to make the, the version three or the, the, your most recent one? It's recent one. I think I got that done in less than a month. Yeah. Procrastination included. Yeah. He's, he's a machine when it comes to building these things. But, uh, uh iTunes uh, 81 asked the question, what are your combat rules in fire game some harmony? E.g. heavy weapons, comms, Etc. How proficient are you at your job? Uh, I guess, I guess I would be the sniper slash. Uh, You'd be the designated marksman designated because you have marksman, the DMR. Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, you're the sniper, but you're uh, you're recently terrible. you've been the point man slash close quarters guy with what with the shotgun and all that. Well, yeah, that's. I mean, you got to have something for long range, but you have if somebody sneaks up on you, got to have the shotgun to be ready. My role is also asshole, and I'm extremely proficient at that. Uh, DMR, uh, iffy. <laughs> Considering none of us actually ever do combat in any of our videos. <laughs> uh, Travis Blade asks, could I get the measurements for the suit? Well, that's not a very good question because they're tailored to us. They yeah. may not be tailored to you. So oh. you go out and make it and tailor it to yourself, buddy. You actually missed a guy. Eighth Flame asked, "Are you guys military bronies?" And the answer is, some of us, yes. Yes. Yeah, it's about fifty-fifty uh, at this point of military yeah. and civilians. Oh, it's pretty well balanced between the military and civilians in this group yeah. now. Yeah. And we got um, just for the record, I am not part of the military. I do hold deep respect for him, but it's just <laughs> yeah. one of those things that never worked out on my part. Yeah, we I am. A video about it. Nobody in my command knows I do this, so shut up. Yeah, nobody knows in, for now. They're not going to know. They're, <laughs> <You> <laughs> they they will never know. know. Last words there, Rainbow Dash. Yeah. Uh, oh, my I, God. Who the hell is this Lord Velva Torres? Question, would you rather eat a nugget of your own doo-doo or drink a shot of someone else's piss? Everybody likes a good shot of piss, though, I think. And it's more sanitary, like uh, what was that movie? Dodgeball. <laughs> necessary? Is it necessary to drink my own piss? No, but it's sterile and I like the taste. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a survival tactic as well. Yeah, see? It's I basically like, just draw, like, like drinking a shot of beer. I mean, beer doesn't taste quite as good as piss, but... It's, I mean, piss is really <laughs> warm. Do you mean that the other way around? Or... Oh, I hate beer. Uh, I love beer. I, oh, I love like Guinness. Beer. That's about the only beer that I'll really drink. Uh, what a beer right now, but I got work tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Sullivan uh, asks another question. What's your favorite Halo? Reach. Yeah. I definitely Reach. have to go with three. Three was always my favorite. I played a lot of three, like a lot of uh, multiplayer from three. I come home from school and I play that. But uh, I was stuck in Alaska when Reach came out, so I played the shit out of that. Uh, I come off work and I just play Reach for hours. I remember uh, doing, like, the daily challenges. So much fun. The Great and Powerful Bronies channel, which that's a mouthful in itself. Uh, yeah. RD, what's your favorite episode in MLP? Uh, um, that's tough. Cause, uh, I bet it's Newbie Dash. I know it's not. Um, episode I have to say, I know he talks about Newbie Dash yeah. a lot. Well, no, yeah, Newbie Dash was a good one. I really like that one because of uh, what it did for Military Bronies. But I'm going to say um, uh, Episode 100 because uh, I'm a huge Octavia fan, surprisingly enough. Um, she's my favorite, hands down. And like to actually see an episode where 
uh, she gets to talk and like build her character. I was so excited, dude. I want more episodes where Octavia does shit. So that that was my favorite. Uh, I guess we can talk about everybody's favorite, not just me. Singling me out the great and powerful Bronies channel. Jeez, that is long. Yeah, I told you it was a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> if I had to pick one particular episode to call my favorite, it would probably be uh, Do Princesses Dream of Magic Sheep? Just because I've got a I lot I actually of... love the concept behind that one. Yeah, yeah that, that was a good episode. Yeah, it just, well, I have a lot of self relation to that one. Uh, as far as is it because you are, you have a demon inside you that's trying to get out and destroy a quest trail? Yes. Neat. It's called yeah. a fart. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, oh, yeah. Go oh, ahead, man. I mean, honestly, my favorite episode changes almost every week. I mean, last time I said Pinky Pride because I'm a huge Weird Al fan. It's like oh the yeah, musician I grew up with, and it's like that's how my taste for music basically formed. Oh, okay. We had. Uh... Oh, uh, speaking of uh, uh, Weird Al, uh, I don't know if you guys saw the most recent episode, uh, our video that we posted, but we had a a, uh, a cheese sandwich cosplayer, and I want to find him because he was hilarious and awesome. He <laughs> did a really good job. Yeah, I did. wish we could have like him as like a regular thing because he was awesome. Um, but uh, Lord Velva Torres said, "I'm here to ask dumb questions because I have nothing better to do." That's me at every single panel. <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, we're we're we've got nothing better to do. That's why we're here taking dumb questions. Yeah, that's why we actually answered it. Uh, let's um, see. Uh, next you, question you, from I, Mint Recky. Rec Would you ever take commissions to make armor? Answer is for me maybe in the future, but definitely not now because I'm not 100 percent confident in my abilities right now. Pass. I got a job, yo. I don't yeah. need commission. Given given my current life situations, I've considered it, but I'm not at the point of being completely open to taking them, but it's not something I've taken off the table at this point in time. Uh, I ran out of coffee in my Fireteam Harmony coffee mug. Oh. I am today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We do have merchandise. We, we, yeah. we could plug it. Rardy, where can you find such a mug? I don't know, on the internet. Fuck, leave me alone. There, there's a link in the I description. Mean, uh, I mean, they're those. available on tpublic.com. <laughs> yeah, there, there is a link Harvey. in the description uh, to the video. Uh, mm. Let's see. Lockhart asks, I, wait, I might have missed one. How You have oh, gone yeah. to some MLP cons. What was the, what reaction, was the reaction of the voice, of the voice actors, actors, the show, seeing you guys in these outfits? Varied. Yeah, it's it's been varied. The, the Probably the best reactions that we've had it's been with was the same voice Strong. actor. Uh, honestly, well, yeah, Terry Strong's reaction to Twilight Spartan was pretty cool. Listen to me, yeah. Uh, you could, you could but, in her face. She was so wet. She loved it. She was all about it. <laughs> Kelly Sheridan has been the absolute best sport about not just in uh, rea uh, interacting with us in person at the conventions, but even on Twitter. She puts up yeah. her shenanigans really well, and it's really oh, awesome. Geez. A really good sport. Yeah. Vincent Tong is pretty good at a good sport about our stuff too. Yeah, but de definitely, uh, definitely, um, Kelly Sheridan is the prime example. Yeah, I mean, Nick, even Nicole Oliver, d despite kind of a bit of a miscommunication at uh, Pacific PonyCon uh, back this past <laughs> year, uh, she really got excited about us in general. Uh, just having just being there she really wanted to get a picture with us and she posted it on twitter practically right then and there so she she was really excited but it really varies from convention to the convention but kelly sheridan's definitely been the best sport who's the one we scared uh ppc Nicole, or you guys scared? um peter knew well no, are you talking knew. about this year or last year this uh ppc this year it was nicole oliver <laughs> oh yeah it was nicole oliver well, they thought actually, we scared her. it was our her. villain that did it, but it was it, it all boiled down to a miscommunication anyway. No, nope, no. Nope. They got kicked out of the con. It was awesome. You should have seen it. Uh, anyway. We've ever had a negative Maloney. reaction from any of the voice actors, though. Yeah. Brogan, Brogan Maloney, who is a, a boot Marine, uh, asks, if you had to marry, fuck, kill anyone in FDH, who would it be? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, I'm going to go first. Our new uh, our new Flutter Spartan, who we haven't announced yet, uh, Mary, definitely. 
Yep. She's she's oh, no. um fuck um rarity Spartan. He's pretty chill. He's pretty cool. And kill me. Uh our pinky Spartan. He's a drunk. Nobody will miss him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I have no comment to to answer. <laughs> good answer. Uh, no comment. No point. comment. Yep. Uh, let's see. Who's your favorite pony? I already said mine. Octavia. Luna. Mm, well, I think I have to go with either Twilight or Applejack. Both are Apple, real Apple favorites at this. Yeah, oh, Apple porn. Hashtag <laughs> Apple porn. Uh, is anybody freaking out that Toph is is typing on this? If anybody plays or have seen Avatar: The Last Airbender, uh, yeah, Toph's a character, and she's blind, so I don't know how the fuck she's typing on that. Oh, I it's have a braille keyboard. She braille keyboard. Or a braille keyboard. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Who would win uh, in a fight, you guys or the Power Rangers? No offense. Us, obviously. Yeah. Unless they morph into Mighty Morphin Megazord. Well, Who mean, asks these stupid nerd questions? This is dumb. I quit. You're not allowed to quit. I don't rank you. Um, can I make an animation for y'all? You can help me come up with an idea for it by Animator Dash. Hell yeah! <laughs> if you want, we're not. I mean, we're not going to twist your arm or anything. Yeah, but... I mean, if, if free animation, hell yeah! Isn't that how KP got in trouble? Oh, <laughs> name drop. Well, wow, yeah, way to shoot those said, shots. It's like I had said earlier. You know, if you know. We're open to the idea. Just we need to, you know, send us a message on YouTube, and we'll we'll kind of discuss it from there. But uh, is there interest? Of course. I mean, we're always looking to do different collaborations with people. But you know, we just got to know the details, and you know, the YouTube chat isn't exactly the greatest avenue for that. So send us a message, and you know, after the podcast, we'll we'll be happy to start talking about it. Yeah. No. Definitely. Um, Ouija Slayer asks, do you like guys like kitties? Uh, be, tell you the truth, I'm actually allergic to cats, but, uh, my mom has a couple cats and I like them. You know, I'll, I'll pet them and stuff and then my face gets all itchy and I'll regret petting them, but I like cats. Uh, I prefer no, dogs, no. but yeah, who doesn't like cats? I love cats and dogs. I've grown up with both of them, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm allergic to cats, and it has to be a cat that pr practically acts like a dog. So, eh. uh, we already dude. asked. We already answered uh, favorite Halo game. Yeah, you guys three play cat any minus games? three. Probably not. Uh, Chris Lawson asked, "Do you guys play any card games?" Yeah, blackjack, like a fucking grown ass man. Do you have hookers? Yeah, blackjack and hookers. Of course, that's uh, that's what the station's like every weekend. Uh, Used to play Yu-Gi-Oh a long time ago, but I mean, I I collected Pokemon cards, but I was like twelve. <laughs> I don't know. Pokemon. The hell I think my little brother has all of them. Honestly, uh, I haven't I haven't played uh, Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh, and I haven't played Pokemon since I was a wee lad. The thing is, I know how to play Magic, but I've never actually made, put an effort towards collecting the cards. Because unfortunately, it's one of those, it's really expensive. So, literally, like, every con I've gone to, I have attempted to learn uh, Twilight Sparkle Ship Fic uh, folder. And every single time, I'm like, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. Like, we tried to play with uh, KP. I love Kim Possible a lot. And uh, she, like... And I uh, could not understand it at all. Yeah. Do love Cards Against Humanity. That's a fun game too. I oh, yeah. played that one. Everybody loves that game. But I I got mixed feelings about that because it's like it's like how unfunny people try to be funny. Cause like I come up with that shit on my own, but like people are like, haha, I'm so funny because this card no, it's like no, the card's funny. You just happen to connect to things that were somewhat humorous. So it's like, I don't know. That takes some effort. I mean, maybe it's not as takes as much effort to like pull it out of your butt but yeah. but in, and then you like you get you just get a handful of just bullshit cards that's like oh dishwasher soap or uh, a hyundai it's like and people are like ha, you're not funny at all it's like i am funny but these cards are stupid so i don't know but how you play i mean anyways uh so sorry rainbow dash one asks what mission in halo is your hands down favorite uh -huh. um, 
that's a loaded question given the broad spectrum of games. Uh, I know exactly which one. In Halo Reach, it's the one where you're you're flying around in the Falcon, going to like different buildings and stuff. In <clears throat> what city was that? New Exa- Alexandria. <laughs> Alexandria. Oh, New yeah. Alexandria. Yeah, you're, flying, you're flying around Alexandria in the Falcon and like going to different do to different missions. I loved that one because I love the Falcon. I always thought it was cool. And uh, yeah, that, that mission was just really cool. Just seeing like in what a state of disarray the city was, and like. Um, how the Spartans were kind of being used as like, kind of like first responders almost. I thought it was cool. I mean, that was definitely one of my favorites, just just because I like flying things. And but I I couldn't pin one specific mission down. And if I did, it would probably be something in uh, Combat Evolved, the first one, just because those missions were long. That was a long campaign. I like the last level in the Halo Combat Evolved, you know, where you're, like, Aww. basically running away from the Pillar of Autumn as it's exploding. I just loved how climatic that was. Climatic. Climatic. Um, climatic. It was cool. Uh, uh, Luna, do you got a, a link to that uh, one picture we're using for, like, our, our cover? I, I mean, a... I do, but I wouldn't want to distribute something... Uh... We, you'd have to talk to our artist at Dragon Rise Studio about that. Uh, It'll probably post- get posted on Derpy Burrow too, at some point. Yeah, probably. So look- but we'll, 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 I'd like to leave that decision to <coughs> the artist that is well, their intellectual pro- property. Okay. Um, should we ask like two more? Answer like two more questions and then show our video. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's answer two more questions, then we'll show our, our our sneak preview to our newest video. Well, not even a preview. We're just going to show it. And then uh, we'll answer more questions after that. So, Lord Valvatorez, Mr. I'm bored, so I'm asking stupid questions. Uh, if you could visit me here in the Netherlands, I don't even know where that is, would you... Uh, Europe. Would lie more in the drugs or in the hookers? Well, good sir, I'm in the United States military, and we cannot cavort in such matters as narcotics or uh, ladies of the night, so neither. Um, I get drug tested regularly. (laughs) I have to admit, uh, I probably would not partake just because that's, it's just my personality. I, I never had a draw to even try drugs or, and, you know, the other issues kind of something else so i have to go with my other two cohorts here neither would really interest me yeah, yeah i mean kind of, the closest hard. thing i've ever had to drugs is like the um laughing gas that they put you on at the dentist yeah. and even know. that it's like i don't like the feeling that it puts me under so it's like i don't think i could handle like straight up drugs we drink booze we don't do drugs kids stay stay in drugs don't do school uh, that question's better suited for like Spartan rarity and like uh, <laughs> rarity and Pinkie Pie. Um, Arrow, the, I fucking can't read. I'm like illiterate. What's that Ooh, fucking tick two seven fifty six? That one. What are your thoughts on Halo Wars two, the beta and the trailer? Uh, I'm excited for it. Uh, I actually, uh, I'm not a huge RTS guy, but like the previews look awesome, and the look awesome. story for Halo Wars was fucking badass. So I'm pretty excited for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm with RD on that one. I, I've not, I've never been huge into RTS games. What little I did play of Halo Wars 1, the control set was, were, was really well done for being a console RTS, but the cinematics looked amazing, and oh, the story awesome. seemed very good. Uh, so I am excited for Halo Wars 2, but at the same time, it's an RTS, so I probably won't play much of it just because it's it's just not my style of game. RTSs. I mean, I grew up with, especially within the Star Wars genre, like um, Empire at War or um, Galactic Battlegrounds or what was that one? I can't think of it right now, but it's like one of the first ones they ever did. But honestly, I don't like the control system of trying to do it on like an Xbox. It's just that's something better done with a keyboard, you know. I do have to agree with that. It's for as much as you have to do a keyboard makes it so much easier. But even there's just not enough buttons on a controller. Exactly. It's it's not as not as 
good for it. So, do we want to show off the video now? Yeah. Show off the exactly. video, and then maybe take a couple more questions afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we can uh, we can make this out to a whole hour hour long podcast yeah. if we really wanted to. Oh yeah. yeah. So uh, a little a little questions. background story uh, for this video before we show it. Uh, so we were, we've been on two, uh, Twilight and I have been on two Bronies React panels with AC Race Bits and Saber Spark. And like the first one was that? Really cool. A lot of people like asked us questions and stuff and like uh, it was hard for us to hear, but like it was still really cool. It was really inclusive. This last one, we got like two questions. It was all about Zootopia and shit and it was really fucking annoying. So this is what it's like to be on a uh, Bronies React panel. And that was that was the video. Yeah, so there you go. I made that in like twenty minutes. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, so there you go. That's what it's like to be on a Bronies React panel. Uh, AC Race Best just uh, sits around and talks about fucking bunnies for an hour. <clears throat> Cause I haven't seen Zootopia, so seen it either, and it's like I, I don't I, know. I have no draw to see it. It's one of those things. If something gets really super super obnoxiously popular. I really don't have any interest in seeing it myself. Uh, and the same thing happened when uh, the Pokemon trading cards first came out back when I was a kid. Uh, <laughs> I liked it at first. I liked the show. I played the game. and then Fuck you, started... I liked Pokemon. <laughs> well, and I liked it, but it just it started getting just nuts, and I was just like, eh, I'm bored with it. I don't care anymore. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do you think of the new changeling design? Worst OC ever. Uh, yeah, that it looks like someone just hit the random button on the OC generator. Yeah. <laughs> and, and don't even get started. Uh, don't don't get Hunter Chrysalis started about the whole new changelings. Uh, that's that's a that's a long briefing. Autistic screeching. Um, <laughs> that's putting it mildly. Yeah. Oh God, she gets nuts about it. It's like, oh my God. Nobody cares. You're a background character. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, they're, they're awful. Um, Artie Spartan, Send Nudes, again, by Brogan Maloney, uh, who is a boot who lost all of his, uh, his stuff at PPC 2016. He lost his wallet and his cell phone, which is pretty funny. Why don't you talk about that, Brogan? Yeah, didn't think so. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> uh, have you so guys this next ever... one is from Lockhart. Have you guys entered any cosplay contests with your outfits? And the answer is yes. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Um, yeah. We've, uh, taken, we've taken home quite a few reward um, awards, too. Yeah, we have, and it's like, it's, it's pretty fun and it's cool, but at the same time, like, they take up so much time, cosplay contests, because you really gotta, do. You're gonna get judged, you gotta, um, uh, you got to go up to the thing, have like a rehearsal and all that. You got to walk across the stage and all that stuff. And like, it's less time for us to like hang out with people at the cons and like, you know, uh, be our normal selves. Because when we're the we're doing that, with our comedy, yeah, when we're doing that, we can't like say stupid stuff on the stage because we got to walk across the stage really fast. And I guess we could do skits and stuff. But even that, that's that's still a lot of extra time. That's more that takes more time than just doing the the show itself and just you have to do the skit yeah. and then you have to memorize it. It's like we, we, we do YouTube videos. This is why we do YouTube videos so that we can do our sketches, not have, you know, be pressed for time and all this jazz. It's just, we get to do it. We get to do it on our own time and we get to have a lot more fun with it. And YouTube videos, the convention. You, up, you can just do another take. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and, and a lot of our stuff is, uh, you know, a lot of it is inspired by a lot of internet stuff, but specifically red versus blue. And yeah. a lot of that's just, you know, riffing off each other and, you know, BSing at a convention. And I mean, if people were to record us at a convention, it would, you know, that would, people would probably love that, but you'd get more comedy out of that than if we even did a skit for a con yeah. uh, cosplay contest or anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Great and Powerful Bronies channel. Dude, shorten the name. It's way too long. Uh, what music do you guys listen to? Uh, well, I listen to a lot of different things. The only thing I don't really listen to much is rap, just because I don't really care for it, but that's my personal taste. But 
I, I have a very, I surprise people. Whenever I take somebody in my vehicle and I'm listening Ooh. to the music on my phone, uh, I always surprise you... everybody with what I'm listening to. How, how do you do you kind of took me surprised when you st- told me you loved mystery skulls. Really? I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's like I didn't expect it of you at the time, but <laughs> yeah, you know uh, what? I love it too. So I don't even know who that is. But yeah, I'm the same way. I listen to all kinds of stuff. Uh, it depends on what mood I'm in. Usually at work, like when I'm doing my job and stuff, uh, I'll play like classic rock and stuff, and then um, like uh, you know. I, I listen to good, uh, you know, when I like to party and stuff, techno and hard bass. And then when I'm like sitting there awesome. concentrating, like doing a, like paperwork and stuff, I love the Skyrim original soundtrack. Cause it just like, it's so calming and like it puts me in, in the mood to just sit still and focus on paperwork. Cause like I'm really, I'm high energy and like antsy. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm like OD o, uh, or ODST. I'm not ADHD or anything, but like no. I have trouble just sitting there doing mundane tasks for long periods of time. But Skyrim, that's all it is. It's just sitting there doing mundane tasks for long periods of time and it's fun. So like the soundtrack, I love that soundtrack. I'll listen to that all the time. No, there's a lot of things that are really good about Skyrim. We could oh, probably yeah. have a podcast just about, oh, these are all the things that I love about Skyrim. Luna just found out about Skyrim. It's very Literally. True. What's, yeah. what, what's really sad about that, though, is as much as I love Skyrim and I played the snot out of it before PPC, once I got back from PPC, I've barely played a couple of hours worth of Skyrim. And I'm sad about that, but at the same time, I've had kind of other priorities that were a bit more pressing. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, Mr. Someone. Uh, wait, where did you say to ask for that picture? Oh, uh, yeah, that picture will be posted later. We'll, uh, we'll figure out, uh, where we're going to post that. And we'll, it'll probably be posted first on our Facebook page. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, our th- 2756. <laughs> Change your name. It's too hard. Ask. It's the pronunciation right at the end, right end there. It's a rough tick or a wrathful yeah. tick. Yeah, that's a rough tick. Uh, what's right think... it asks <laughs> well what do you think of microsoft play anywhere also it's a rough tick oh, the son of a oh. <laughs> i'm just gonna call you at arthritic for now on just because that's what my brain wants to read Arthritis. Uh, the microsoft play anywhere i kind of like the idea uh and if you guys heard of that what is that exactly i don't know what it is explain it let let me learn you guys uh, Neat. The the play anywhere is basically if you buy a digital title for either Xbox One or Windows Ten, mm-hmm. you get it for free on the other console. So if you buy really? a, yeah, if you buy a digital game on the Xbox One, you automatically get a copy of it on your PC for That's if you sweet. have Windows Ten. And yeah. I really like that idea. Yeah, it's um, awesome. And it's definitely a cost saving measure because you, you is figure, it gonna is it gonna make it more expensive though? Like that's well, what I, I mean. Do. Even most games are still around sixty bucks if you buy it on you know, and if you catch a sale, you're basically getting two games for the price of one. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. No. That uh, if that's uh, if that's the case. Yeah. That sounds awesome. I'll do it that. Sounds cool in theory, but yes, you never know. Yeah. I mean, I don't have any kind of play. I don't. Th- well, I don't think I have a play anywhere title. I might with Forza Horizon Three, oh, yeah. but I I'm not able to utilize it on my PC right now just because a lot of the modern games. And this is the nice thing about consoles is, uh, with a PC, I don't have the specs that can really do the games justice, or let alone run it very well. <laughs> Uh, which is why I have the Xbox One because the games that come out for it are going to work on it. So Indeed. It's, yeah. it's, it's one of those, it's a great theory, but not everybody's going to be able to utilize it the way it's intended. Yeah. Uh, Lord Valvatores, our favorite little guy, uh, do you guys like puzzles? If so, what kind of puzzles do you like? No, me stupid. Me no like puzzles. Puzzles is uh, we do love puzzles, especially like those brain teasers and riddles. It's called the Water Temple. Oh God! Ah, shut up! <laughs> oh hey, Mr. Editor's here. Mr. Editor. <laughs> hey, Mr. Editor. 
so uh, if anybody's wondering what that's about, uh, we went to uh, Ponyville Cider Fest, Cider Fest in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Last year. Spider Fest. And uh, we went to uh, uh, I Love Kim Possible a Lot's panel. And it was like, ask her anything. And her editor was there. Andrew and she's like, you, you can ask Bennett here any questions. And nobody was asking her questions. And admittedly, we were a bit drunk. Um, so a bit? <laughs> the, the, okay, we were wasted. So we just, <laughs> we just kept asking him questions. We were like, I'll admit, uh, Mr. Editor. And like, just asked him really stupid questions. Like, uh, I don't even remember. I don't remember most of that panel. What were we asking them, Luna? I, you were I, some... I don't ask me specifics because I don't remember, and I spent most of that entire panel with my face over my or my hand over my face, yeah, laughing, admittedly, but also extremely embarrassed. So I I remember all I remember from that is looking over at you guys periodically, going, "I hate all of you." <laughs> the common um, sense is stay up in the room and sleep. Yeah. I was uh, having Mr. too much fun, which is the, the the dichotomy of the whole thing. It's just I hated everybody. It was embarrassing, but at the same time, I was laughing so hard. Um, let's see. Uh, Mr. Someone, I like what he says. He says, learn very much good. Much learning in head is a good. I, I like that. That's how I t that's my inner monologue. That's what my brain sounds like. And so, Animator Dash, okay. can I follow you all of you on Twitter? Well, yeah. No. Go no. ahead. You can't. It's impossible. Um, do you plan on ever having a consistent upload schedule, Coopster Gaming? <laughs> That's we're the, trying. We're yeah. trying. No, supposedly, supposedly, we're supposed to release a video once a week, but that doesn't happen yeah. because I mean, we got sometimes jobs. we don't have stuff to work with. Yeah. yeah. That, the the real hard part on that is the fact that we we all three of us live in different places. In fact, everyone on the team lives in different places. Uh, so getting together and filming things, we have to we have to plan ahead for that, and you know sometimes yeah. it doesn't work out even when we do plan for it. So it's 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 difficult, and we're trying to find different options, which is why one of the reasons why we started the podcast is to, hey, this is something we can do while being in three different locations geographically, and still provide content. Yeah. So, so it's it's one of those. We, we want a regular upload schedule just because that's good for your channel growth, but at the same time, it's just getting to a point where we're able to do things and having the material to work with, like Twilight said. It's just sometimes it's really difficult to get together to make the film, the live action stuff. Yeah, and we got jobs, yo. But uh, I, got, I got a question. Well, you guys um, got jobs. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, when did you realize FTH was kind of going to be a bigger thing than just like a stupid joke? A really like, good question. Go, oh shit, this this might be something. Uh, as soon as well, it was Yumicon 2015 when we had the whole crew. I was like, hey, this is pretty cool, and that was just, hey, we've got a whole group to go, you know, to conventions and be a group and do group stuff and whatnot, and so that's really cool. And then you guys went to Pacific PonyCon last year and ran into AC Race Best and made it on Brony's React. And that's yeah. that's when we were like, oh, crap. Holy yeah. shnikes. Evidently horse famous. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it wasn't even until after PPC. It was like during PPC when we saw AC Race Best. And like he was filming us, and we were like saying funny stuff, and he was he was eating it up. He loved it. I think at that point I was like, dude, this might become something pretty big. So I thought, yeah, that could have done it. Mine was slightly different because it was still at PPC, but I think you were in the military bronies panel. Yeah. But he actually came up to me. It's like basically no, it was him and Saber Spark. He's like. Yeah, you guys were really hilarious. Do you have any contact information on you? Because we'd love to get in contact with you. Oh. That's kind of like, okay, I think this is definitely going to go somewhere now. Yeah. All right. Um, Nora, of course. Thanks, Nora. What's been your favorite interaction with a fan? Uh, I think whenever I tweet, uh, shut up, Nora. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Um, no. Oh, you know what it was? Uh, last PPC, PPC 2017, um, we had these three, 
I don't know, they were probably like 14 or 15. These three girls oh. come up to us and they were like, hey, we're big fans and all that. Um, would you let us be your Cutie Mark Crusaders? They wanted to build armor and be our Cutie Mark Crusaders. I was like, wow, we're getting random people coming up uh, and saying they're going to they're gonna do this, like groups of people. And uh, it was really cool because it's like, we definitely, we definitely don't appeal to the younger crowd, but it was still really cool. They were like, yeah, we want to be your Cutie Mark Crusaders. That was awesome. I was like, hell yeah, do it. I thought that was adorable. Yeah. Oh, they were so adorable. It was, yeah. And their, their, um, their, what is it, their mom? One of their moms is like a sergeant major in the Marine Corps. I thought it was their dad. Yeah. I don't know. I might be wrong on that. Yeah, their dad is like a sergeant major major in the Marine Corps and uh, the CO for our Sunset Spartan. And uh, our Sunset Spartan's like, he's up there right now um, building them uh, – uh, building them armor in his office, like on the base. I was like, that's awesome. <clears throat> I, I'm getting word that our Spartan rarity may or may not be trying to join us. Yeah? It, it's possible. No, tell them no. Um, next. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. I'm just kidding, yeah. Uh, what was your favorite fan interac interaction? Okay. Interaction? Yeah. Oh, so questions for fucking everyone. It's not just me. <laughs> Nora asks questions from everyone. She's everywhere, always, I, always watching. I couldn't pin any one down. It's usually when we're doing our thing and people just absolutely love us. That's that's yeah. that's it for me. It's just the okay. People think we're funny. Cool. That's yeah. That's why we do this sort of thing. It's definitely putting the smiles on people's faces that I love doing. Yeah, yeah. especially the kids. Yeah. Um, what is your guys' favorite Nintendo game from Lord Va Va Va? Uh, mine was Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Uh, Link to the Past, actually, for me. Really? Well, it's the what? first Legend of Zelda game that I ever really played. As any Nintendo game, so it doesn't necessarily have to be um, Legend of Zelda. Oh, I know. Okay. Well, honestly, I always loved Earthbound. If the for the those who have heard of it. Yeah. That had Ness. I only knew him from Smash Brothers. Um, One of those delightfully bizarre um, RPGs, and I just absolutely loved it. Nice. So uh, uh, I'd, li I'd like to take a moment to welcome Spartan Rarity to the, ch to the chat. Oh, hi, Spartan Rarity. Can, can Spartan Rarity talk? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'd appreciate it if all of you welcomed me. I appreciate it being... Uh, all right, yeah, sure everybody, late. And everybody in the chat, welcome Spartan Rarity. Welcome Spartan Rarity. Uh, we'll do it on three. One, oh, God, there's a chat. Three. Welcome there's Spartan, Spartan, Spartan Rarity. Rarity. Yeah, uh, see, uh, Luna decided to uh, tell me that there was something involved in a pod race or something, and I was like, Star Wars? No, thank you. Science fiction space battles are for nerds. So, some, nerds. Somebody's wordplay is weak. You're an idiot. So we're answering Man. questions about shit. Um, Spartan Rarity, so you're welcome to join us. Uh, the next one is from Arthritis27. Uh, Arthritic. How were your college years? Mine consisted of ramen and trying to get two hours of sleep a night. It didn't happen. Where Where is the chat? It's, it's on, on YouTube. YouTube. God, you are worthless. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I went to college for a year, and I was too stupid, so I failed and joined the military. <laughs> so remember, kids, Stay in school or else you'll become a slave to the government. And a party wow, Spartan. Dang. The the chat is actually lighting up with welcomes for Spartan Rarity. That's pretty surprising. Yeah, because I'm the best one. That's <laughs> yeah, right. They were just sitting around waiting in for an hour or so for me to show up. Thanks, Luna. Right, right. Hey, I sent you the message when we were about to go live, and then you're still off playing Batman Arkham something. For yeah. 45 minutes, God, you are worthless. Why do we? Because, why did we let you in? Oh, because command sent you to us. Anyways, yeah, because Luna oh. welcomed him in. Uh, so no. did anybody else go to college? No, I went to a year of college. You really? <laughs> Luna didn't I mean, go. I did to it college. a couple years. I did some like um, design because, like, if people have seen stuff on like the um, videos, all the little arts been kind of my thing. 
especially the sound design too, because that's stuff I have taken classes for. So, I mean, I did some stuff, and I'm at least putting it to practical use. Nice. Uh, uh, Rarity, you went to college, right? I uh, I, I did some college. Uh, yeah. We're all worthless dropouts. <laughs> that's why we're <laughs> that's why we're in pony armor making YouTube videos. Why are you going to ask us about our college? It should be pretty obvious. None of us did anything with our lives. Anyways, next question <laughs> from the channel with nope. the really long name. If you could have one million dollars, what would you do with it? I'd fix my Jeep and invest it. I'm boring. I'm an adult. I'd pay off bills, pay off my family's bills, and yeah. invest a good chunk of it, and then live a very humble life. Yeah, I, I honestly, and I wouldn't tell the government because I think if you make over four hundred thousand dollars, they kick you out of the Coast Guard. Well, and that's also Ooh. tax evasion. Shit, Are they kick you out of the military. Uh, you become rich, you're no longer allowed to be in the military. Yeah, no, because if you think about it, like you could just tell like your commanding officer to fuck off. He's like, "Hey, go do this," and you're like, "Fuck you, I'm rich. I don't have to do what you fucking say." Like, it's you know, just the exact opposite. I've got all this money, but it's like, okay. I signed up. I still have a sense of duty. Well, that that's what they're afraid of. They're afraid of people aren't as noble as you who would be like, yeah, fuck you, I'm not doing that. Uh, so. Animator Dash is asking, what is our Twitter? Uh, all our social media should be uh, on the screen. Uh, yeah. Pretty clear. The Twitter handles are on the right-hand column. Facebook is on the left-hand column, uh, with the exception of... I have not updated that to have Sunset Spartan's Twitter handle on there. So as long as you go to twitter.com slash the usernames listed, you'll find all of us. Uh, iTunes81 asks, do you guys plan to go to International Con? That would be so cool, but we are poor. Yeah. So. I think someone earlier had asked if we were going to BronyCon this year, and that's still kind of up in the air even at that. Yeah. Okay, so, we definitely so have here's some the plan. plans for it. It's just a matter of who's going amongst our group. Yeah. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Give us the million dollars. We'll spend all of that on pony conventions. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. We'll spend it on uh, getting nice cameras and uh, just make know. sure it doesn't come from Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want hey, to hear. Let's try with Nigerian money. That's that's good money. Well, because it's scam monies. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah. Gaming asks, what's Spartan Rarity's opinion on the new Changeling design? Um, yeah, the new change, they're garish, they're, they're all pastels in yellow, and everybody knows that yellow pastel is the worst color, especially for anything with four legs and wings. Yeah, pretty much. Mic drop. Um, Animator Dash, at uh, Rarity Spartan, can you make a joke for us? I would, yeah, you but... Fuck it. Would Rarity Spartan's a living joke. Jester. You jester, make us laugh. Come on, do it. It's make a pun. It. Yeah, I, like like I said, I would, but uh, that would involve a lot of mirrors. And I don't think I can mail every single one of you a mirror. Oh. Uh, 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 oh uh, shots uh, fired. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, you are all I'm, disgusting. I'm still... Cindy Barahona asked, which cons do you attend? Uh, I'm assuming you mean regularly. No, don't uh, don't do it. It's a trap. They're stalking you. We're for uh, yeah, this we, uh, we go to anyone on the West Coast. <laughs> no, but uh, seriously, uh, we always go to TrotCon because it's really local. Uh, we always go to Yumacon, which is uh, uh, TrotCon in Michigan. Uh, Yumacon's in Detroit, Michigan. And uh, that one's not a pony con, but it's a really great one because it's really close to us. And we don't always go as Fireteam Harmony. Okay, yeah, we do. Uh, we always go as Fireteam Harmony, but mainly it's, like, not a pony con. So we spend more time in our regular armor. So. Yeah. Uh, as, far as, as, as far as conventions that we've attended as, as Fireteam Harmony, uh, we've obviously, you know, TrotCon, as we've said. Uh, we went to Ponyville Cider Fest in Milwaukee, Wisconsin last fall. Uh, so cool. We just got back a couple okay. weeks ago from Pacific Pony Con. They went last year. This uh, mm -hmm. this this year's one was my first time going. Awesome. Um, <laughs> it was in California. That's where I'm from. Oh, yeah, wow. Nobody cares. Uh, Shut up. I'll fight you. <laughs> West Coast um, is West Coast. We're, we're, we're 
looking into going to Winnie City Podicon in Schaumburg, Ooh. Illinois, which is just northwest of Chicago. And Wait, it's, it's not even in Chicago. What? Why the hell are you talking about deep dish pizzas and shit if it's not even in Chicago? It's it's in, it's in the I'm Chicago ready. metropolitan area. I'm rioting. Okay. Go no, but it. we we did get invited to it. So go to no go to uh, that con we just mentioned, you Winnie City, City Pony con, con, and come see us. Haha. <laughs> and every and, time we say that, they give us money. Uh, no, they don't. <laughs> and and if you really want us to show up there, and you bug their social media about it. Uh, yeah. Talk to Everfree Northwest to try to get us to that one. Yeah, they've been talking to us, but like we haven't gotten the contract yet, so it's kind of annoying. Yeah. And uh, speaking of Tracon, want to shout out to all the Swaghorns. Go to our panel, get really drunk. Wait, oh, are you still here? I didn't notice. So uh, the Swaglicorns is a group uh, that go to a lot of the pony cons, and it's like. The deep, dark, scary places of the fandom that your mother warned you about personified. And listen, and you went anyways, and now you're stuck. Now you're stuck, and uh, you wake up really, really drunk, and your your butt kind of hurts. Uh, oh wait, sorry. Um, pray you don't have to pull security on the door to their panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, you don't want to do that. We we leave blood stains on the ceiling. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh God. So the first pony convention I ever went to was TrotCon 2015. Yeah, TrotCon 2015, and I was security for that. And uh, this panel was at like four in the morning, and it, it said Swagglecorn Empire. I was like, God, this has got to be awful. Uh, so I went to go check it out because it was like it was going to be my last panel for the night, and then I was going to go to sleep. I had been up for like thirty something hours, uh, so. I, I go to watch this panel, and uh, they're doing a magic show. And one of the magic tricks is Twilight Sparkle? Twilight Sparkle? I think so. No, no, no it was... was uh, yeah, Pinkie Pie, Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie was going to uh, catch a bullet in her teeth that was shot from Twilight Sparkle. And it was these two plushies with, like, this fake gun. And uh, Twilight shoots and uh, hits Pinkie in the, the plush in the head, and there's this blood squib that goes off. And it goes off, and it covers the feeling in fake blood. And I'm just looking up in horror, just like, oh, my God, did that just happen? And then, like, before I, I can do anything, I, uh, the Twilight Sparkle plush holds the gun to her head and, like, pulls the trigger, and a second blood squid goes off and puts even more <laughs> fake blood on the ceiling. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And I'm just looking up. I'm like, we got to clean this. We can't just leave this here. And, like, at this time, they're noticing it on the stage, and they're like, oh, shit, did we do that? And I was like, uh, yeah. So I, like, I run out really quickly, and I find, the, uh, like, the janitor's closet, and there's, like, a mop in there. There's, like, no spray or rags. There's a mop. So I go running back into the panel room with this mop, and I'm trying to mop the, <laughs> the roof with it, and it's just smearing the fake blood all over the roof. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And, like, I'm standing up there, and they're still doing their panel, and I'm just up there. I'm like, oh, fuck, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> So they're like, they do the whole panel and then they're like talking to me and they're like, really? So they're like, oh, we're so sorry. It's like seven in the morning. I haven't slept all night. And I'm sitting there with like a spray nine and like a rag that I found trying to clean this entire ceiling covered in blood. And like, I, I messaged the head of security. I'm like, all right. I don't want you to be mad, uh, but everything's taken care of. And he's like, what do you mean? I was like, just don't go into this panel room. And like somehow they cleaned all of it. But yeah, that was my first in encounter with the Swagglicorn guys and my first con convention. So yeah, cleaning up blood off the ceiling. And I was hooked. I loved conventions after that. Uh, let's see. Was it Golden Gear 25 asked, what is your favorite pizza place? <clears throat> That's a good one. Uh, Papa John's. No, no, no. I take that back. BJ's Pizza. Yeah. It is also delicious. What? Unfortunately, the best pizza I ever had, um, this was a couple years back, almost over a decade ago. It was this little mom and pop shop up in, um, oh, what's it called? <laughs> All City. And unfortunately, I had it once. It was with the best pizza I ever had. And then, like, literally a week after, it burned down. 
So oh. I've never been able to go back because of that. Mm. Yeah, I wonder why that happened. Yeah. Rarity, what's your favorite oh. pizza place? Uh, pizza. My favorite pizza place is locally owned, and uh, yeah, you, you're, you're, you're not oh, cool yeah. enough to know about it. I know the one you're talking about. Uh, is that where sure we do. Broadcon, it was awesome. Yeah, it was pretty good. My oh, favorite... well, no, for reals, uh, Hound Dogs. Hound Dogs Pizza. Yes. Yeah. My, my favorite place is called Godfather's Pizza because, well, it's kind of, you know, mob related, but it's it's really good pizza. I really like it, but I only know of one anywhere remotely near me. But yeah, uh, Hound Dogs has a limo with a fake Basset Hound strapped to the top of it with a uh, Wiley Coyote firework strapped to its back for when they deliver things on the, on the limo. Um, it's uh, It's got an aquarium and like graffiti everywhere. It's it's pretty heinous. It's great. Did it bark up the wrong tree? That was almost a joke. Damn it. So Lord Valvatora is, uh, thankfully, so my last question will be, what's your favorite drink, alcoholic or not? Why don't we turn alcoholic. that into two questions? Both your favorite alcoholic and your favorite non-alcoholic. Okay, uh, mine's just whiskey, straight double of whiskey, uh, no rocks, because uh, I hate myself. Uh, Russian vodka and uh, cherry Dr Pepper. Um, Applejack is my favorite as far as alcoholic drinks go. And I love myself a good monster assault as far as regular drinks go. Regular drinks, I drink coffee because I'm a fucking adult. <laughs> no, it's because you're a boat driver. I like boats. <laughs> what about, uh, I guess, Rarities was available alcohol. Yes. I, I will drink available. <laughs> For, food and is my favorite brand. Favorite is insert booze and, here. Yes, and uh, my favorite non-alcoholic drink is a drink that mixes well with alcohol. <laughs> Nora <laughs> says, Rarity, "Rarity seems stuck up." Thanks, stuck Nora. up in the tree. We're still trying yeah, to wow. get him down from there. Stuck up in the fucking clouds. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I am stuck here. It is awful. Someone help. No. <laughs> also. You do realize that this is this is a shtick, right? This is <laughs> this is. Ew, this we don't want to hear about sticks this, are right? trees. Sticks are trees, and I am stuck in one. Mom, mom, I'm scared. Uh, the great, and powerful uh, really Bronies long. channel asks, "Who is your favorite? Favorite out of the, out of the six? six? Pretty stupid. Mine's Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Obviously." <laughs> You're, you're, you're the living embodiment, just exaggerated and more adult. Yeah. If if Rainbow Dash spent like a year active duty in the Wonder Bolts, that's what I that's what I would be. And what Except is rated boats. for children? Yeah. Uh, what of the main six? My favorite's Applejack. <laughs> Applejack. <laughs> hey, well, I mean, this is probably not going to come as a big surprise, but I like Twilight of the main six. No. You well, I never would have no guessed. Way. That was a stupid question. And I asked, what is your favorite time of day? What does that even mean? After I get off work and I can drink alcohol. Yeah. Right after uh, you get off of work. Yeah. But even then, the day that you have off. Yeah. Yeah. That's my favorite day is just not working. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, I, I I don't know. I'm kind of tied between Rarity and Applejack, honestly, because Applejack is a sassy bitch. Uh, Astro Crew Minecraft in that. Well, what the Inator. fuck? Minecraft Inator? Minecraft Inator. Although spelled very oddly. Who came up with the idea to make MLP based Halo armor? Oh, it was Me. this homeless guy on the side of the road, and he was just rambling. Yeah, and we <laughs> made him our Twilight, and we cleaned yeah. the blood off of him. Yeah. And, time, I wasn't homeless. I was just kind of confused at the time. Yeah. Yeah, there was some yeah. sort of omen. So, yeah, no, it was Twilight Spartan. Um, I'm... So, uh, I think we, we're done over an hour. Yeah, just a uh, little bit. Oh. One um, hour, 13 minutes, and 18 seconds. Wow. Yeah. It's so successful. We're so successful. We are successful. Um, so, yeah, I mean... 
we don't have any more questions. Everybody, everybody fell asleep in the chat in the chat because uh, we're boring as fuck. Um, we're definitely yeah. learning as far as doing the whole podcast thing. We don't really have a set format other than we pretty much we're surviving off Q and A for right now. And no, no, we... shut up, Luna. We know what we're doing. Why? Well, that's what I'm saying. We don't know. We know. No, we know what we're doing. We them that we think we know what we're doing. We, we, we are, are professionals. We are competent. Stop um, lying. Yeah, so this was our first one, so I mean, uh, go ahead and tell us on our channel or uh, on our Twitter is what you thought. And uh, who knows? We might make this a regular thing. I think uh, we're going to record these and uh, uh, post them on our page as well or on our YouTube channel. Um, if you have any more questions, go ahead and send them to us later. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there we go. We're probably going to do this as a regular thing. We're going to bring on guests. Um, uh, who knows who we'll bring on? Probably nobody because nobody likes us. Um, but, yeah, we'll bring on guests. We'll, we'll make this an exciting thing, uh, like, once a month, you know? Uh yeah, uh, we're also still learning on the technical side of things. It's been kind of an interesting thing to to really do. Um, no, no, we are competent. Nobody's listening to you, Rarity. No, no, we know what we're doing. You yeah, shut I... your you shut your whore mouth. No, I outrage you. You slutty I... moan mouth. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No. Oh, I... I'm All right. Anyway, so yeah, let's wrap this up. Uh, subscribe to us on uh, YouTube. Check out our Facebook page. Check out all of our Twitters. Uh, buy our shit. It's at tpublic.com. You can check it out in the description. Thanks for coming out and uh, enjoying our first ever podcast. Uh, we love you. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 Okay, bye. bye.